Hello everyone, this is another how-to video from skippies.com. Uh, we are a people search and public records directory as well as a web search directory and in this video we're going to show you how to find location information that's encoded in some digital photos. And when I say some digital photos, it's not encoded in all f digital photos. The picture has to be taken with a GPS enabled device, whether it be a smartphone or a camera, digital camera with a GPS option on it. Um, however, as smartphone phones become more prevalent and uh, GPS uh, data is encoded in more and more digital photos, this is going to become more and more common. Now, for those of you who think you might be able to um, download pictures off of social networks like Facebook and uh, find out the location of the picture, it's not that easy. A lot of social networking sites will remove this data when users upload it to their site. So not all social networking photos can be used to uh, get the uh, location data out of them. Sites like Tumblr, Tumblr doesn't remove the data. I found numerous pictures on Tumblr that I was able to find the location of. I'll give you an example. But what you're going to want to do is go to this, this is the website, regex.info forward slash exif.cgi. And I'm going to show you what you can find using this tool. Okay, <clears throat> the site looks very simple. You can either copy and paste the image's URL or you can upload digital photos from your computer. Now for the examples I'm going to show you, I'm just going to copy and paste URLs because it's quicker. And I'm using Firefox which makes it even easier. So for instance, let me go to Tumblr. I already have a photo here. Photo taken of a passenger train. It's a French passenger train, but aside from that we don't know exactly where this picture was taken. Okay, right click on it. In Firefox you go to copy image location. In Internet Explorer, you're going to have to choose Properties, and then there's a window open up that will open up, and there will be an, an address for the image. You will have to copy and paste that. And you have to make sure it's, an, it's a, a, a URL for the image itself and not the page you're on. Um, so it should end with a .jpg. Um, let's see. So let's go back here and copy and paste this URL and view it. Okay, what we get is we get a lot of information, but the, 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 inter, the information that's going to be the most interesting is, okay, it was taken with an Apple iPhone 3GS. It was taken on December 4th, 2012. And then down here, it gives latitude longitude information. That's how you know uh, there was GPS data encoded into the uh, picture. If you go on uh, Google Maps, it pinpoints the location to a train station in Paris, France. You can also, if you uh, go back, hit the back button, you can view it on open street maps. You, you have a lot of options, but it even tells you right on open street maps. Right here is where it's at. This is the area in which that photo was taken. Now, um, I'll give you another example. Here's a picture that was taken by a GPS enabled camera in Miami Beach, Florida. I already know this because I've looked it up. But if you do copy image location, go back here and clear the old image. You don't have to. Copy and paste it. Here we have another Apple iPhone 3GS photo was taken on December 10th, 2010 and there is location information associated with it. 
Now if you scroll down further, they give you a Google map here. So you really don't have to go to... It was taken on Espinola Way, or in that vicinity. And it's a, it's a street art that was taken in that area of Miami Beach. And actually, if you zoom in far enough, you can actually see the, uh, the painted image on the wall. Um, I believe it's off of one of these little side alleys. But uh, it, is, it is in that area of Miami Beach. So it's pretty interesting what this could be used for. I mean, there's lots of things this could be used for. Um, Raytheon, the defense contractor, has recently... Uh, there's a video out about a new uh, people search and tracking tool that they're uh, that they've developed called Riot. It's not available to the general public, but it uses this type of location information embedded in uh, digital photos to track people online. Again, if you think you're going to go to some social networks like uh, Facebook and uh, download photos or copy the URLs and find the location information for a person, place, or thing based on those probably not going to happen anytime soon because like I said some of the major social networks do strip it out of the photo when it's uploaded however um, Tumblr does not and more and more uh, sites as people get comfortable with this technology um, probably more and more sites are not going to uh, strip it from the uh, from the photo um, if anybody ever sends you a picture to you directly and you want to find out where that picture was taken if that picture was taken with a uh, smartphone that's GPS enabled and it's and it's on and you want to use a site like this to find out where that picture was taken you can do it um, there's almost a uh, limitless uh, ways you can think of to use this type of information but let me give you the uh, URL again it's pretty interesting to just kind of play around with and experiment with and like I said um, as this technology becomes more prevalent and uh, more and more sites, uh, you know, people upload their photos to more and more sites and those sites get less restrictive on that data being in the photo, uh, this is going to be, it's going to be kind of interesting to see where this goes. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, have a good one. Bye.